Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a curry using mutia. If you haven't already checked out my video on how I make the mutia, click on the link above. Now this curry in my language, we call it bhagat mutia, which is actually a vegetarian kofta curry. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Let's get cooking. You'll need one and a half medium chopped onions, two medium potatoes, which will peel and dice, 25 to 30 of the mutia, a quarter cup or 60 ml of oil. Now here I'm just using the same oil that I used to fry the mutia in. Three cloves, one cinnamon stick, two bay leaves. About a cup or 250 ml of passata. Now you can use crushed tomatoes and tomato paste if you don't have passata. One and a half teaspoons of coriander cumin powder, a half a teaspoon of red chili powder, a half a teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of ginger garlic chili paste, one tablespoon of chopped coriander, a quarter teaspoon of garam masala, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Heat up the pan. Add the oil. Now when you're making this curry, make sure you use a shallow pan like this, not, not something like a saucepan. You want something wide. Go ahead and add your cinnamon stick, the cloves and the bay leaves. Then add the onions and let them fry. So I've peeled and rinsed the potatoes and now I'm just gonna cut them into chunks, probably, think about this big. That's about an inch and a half in size. We're gonna cook these potatoes first and then we'll add the mutia later. Now the onions look slightly yellow in color and that's because we used the oil that we fried the mutia in so it's already got a slight hint of turmeric in there. But these are cooking nicely. I can definitely smell the cinnamon and the cloves and the bay leaf frying with the onions and it smells amazing. Okay, these are nice and golden. I'm gonna go ahead and add the spices now. add all the spices that I mentioned earlier. Now all my ingredients and the measurements are available on my website so you can check it out there. Go ahead and mix this in. When you fry up ginger and garlic you can smell the aroma. It makes everything smells so good and it gets rid of that raw smell in the cooking so you should always remember to fry up your spices before you add them to your add, add the rest of the ingredients in there okay i'm going to add the passata in here Then I'm gonna cover this and let this simmer for a little bit before I add water and the potatoes. So this has been going for about two minutes now and you can see that the oil has come on top, right here. And that's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna give this a stir. I'm gonna add the potatoes in here. Give that a quick mix. And then I'm gonna add two cups of boiling water. Now I boiled the water in the kettle and uh, I'm just gonna add that in there. So two cups is about 500 ml of water. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and let the potatoes cook in this delicious sauce. And right now the sauce looks watery, but once we add the mutia, it will thicken up and the mutia will absorb this sauce as well. So we're just gonna cover this for now and let it cook. I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium. All right, so let's check it. It's been about 10, 11 minutes now. And the potatoes should be starting to soften. Okay, they are slightly soft. They're not completely cooked. So another couple of minutes and then I'm going to add the mutia. But I am going to add another cup of hot water in here. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes since we put the potatoes in. And I'm going to just check them again. And my spoon is going through nicely. So they're cooked. I'm gonna add the mutia now. Um, the sauce actually looks a little bit runny, but you need it like that because these mutias will absorb the sauce in there and they'll actually expand in size. So don't worry, your sauce will not be watery like this. So we're gonna add the mutias, as many as you need. I think about five to six per person is a good estimate, but we like to have a little bit left over, so I'm going to add all the ones that I have left. Just give that a stir. And then let this cook covered. It's been about five minutes and we're just going to check on this. Now, we're not looking to cook the mutia because they are already cooked when we fried them. We just want this to kind of cook together for a little while and then it's, it's already kind of done. We need this to sit so that the mutia absorb the sauce and that takes about uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes just depending but you can see that the sauce has already thickened and as the mutia absorb the moisture in the sauce, the sauce will get very dry and thick. So I think I'm going to add another cup of water to this. Actually, I'm just going to add three quarters of a cup, which is 200 ml of water. And I'll let this simmer for another five minutes so that the sauce is all cooked together well, and then I'll turn the heat off. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and I'm actually gonna turn this off and let it rest. And you can see how much sauce there is in there now. And then we'll come back to it in about 30 minutes or so and you can see how much sauce there is left but it will absorb some more sauce in there okay so this has been sitting for about 30 minutes while I was making my roti and you can see how the sauce has been absorbed by the mutias and the mutias have expanded in size they're bigger than they they were so this is ready to go now. I'm actually just gonna sprinkle a little bit of garam masala on there. You can do this if you like. And some fresh coriander. And it's ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And also check out my Instagram page. I'll see you again soon for some more cooking inspiration.